What's going on, Honkai Star Royal uh, family? Welcome back to another video. I had a good bit of fun last night clearing World 4 with Arlon as a free-to-play player. Uh, I designed the build around him to be a hyper carry so that he can just completely slap cheeks. And it was very fun, but it was also a very big brain 500 IQ play that I want to share with you guys, uh, especially if you're struggling getting past World 4 and you happen to own my boy Arlon, because that's what this is all about, showcasing him in the spotlight and showing how strong he can be when well, uh, well, I'm not going to even say well invested, when you just know how to build around him. Uh, let's get into the video. Again, we're going to go over the entire build, explain everything that I chose and why I chose it. And then at the end of the video, we will showcase a raw and unfiltered footage of me clapping the cheeks of World 4 Final Boss. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and go over the characters that were chose. We have Arlon, Asta, Natasha, and Serval. Arlon is, of course, our hyper carry. Natasha is going to be our healer. Asta is going to be our buffer to the team, but she is also going to play the role of shredding shields to all enemies that are susceptible to the fire element. She is a very phenomenal character to utilize for buffing and shredding shields, uh, and she does that job quite well. And finally, Serval is going to be used for our AoE. She's also going to be an additional shield shredder. And that's going to come in handy big time against the final boss because he summons these hands and they're only weak to the electro and wind elements, I believe. So uh, she's a very important and a pivotal piece to completing the final boss fight with this build because she gets rid. The, the hands have this little element where they grab your character. And if you don't break their shield, they will straight up kill your character. So you literally need her for that. Now, there's other options, but man, she does it really. She does a really good job taking care of that for you so that you can keep your hyper carry alive. You'll see in the showcase that I kept getting grabbed with Arlon and there was uh, nothing you can do about it. They just choose whoever the hell they want to choose. So Arlon's going to be E0. Asta is E1. That's E0. And that's E0 as well. So Serval, Natasha, E0, Arlon, E0. And then we ended up getting some free-to-play pulls and got a one copy of Asta. But yeah, very, very free-to-play friendly team. Uh, Investment-wise, all of my characters are 50. And I do recommend that all of your characters are 50 for World 4. I'm not going to say it's impossible to do it with lower levels, but it's damn sure going to be much more difficult. Uh, now, in terms of what I'm building on uh, Arlon, he has his light cone. We ended up pulling that again on a free to play pool, which is pretty cool. Uh, our traces are 444. Four, four. Um, you really want to focus on pushing these two up as much as possible, as well as the ult as well. But this is going to increase your damage the lower his HP is. And the way it works is it doesn't I, at first i thought it was like literally if you go down 46 percent, you get the full damage bonus basically one hp arlon will get this full blown damage bonus one hp arlon so it takes a quite a bit of time to get maximum damage bonus but you're playing with fire there my friend uh this skill is um, a very powerful tool to utilize this is the one that drains his health so it can get you access to other buffs if he happens to be above the 50 percent mark which we'll explain in a bit this is his ult. Again, more damage. You want to max all these out 100%. Uh, and when you come down here, this is a good survivability tool. If the current HP percentage is 30% or lower, when defeating an enemy, immediately restore HP equal to 20% of max HP. So basically, when his HP drops below 30%, he'll heal when he defeats an enemy 20% uh, of his, his health. But yeah, that's pretty much all we got going there. For the relics, we are still working on getting him an actual. This is a budget build. We're working on getting him an actual build with the lightning uh, perk. It's 10% lightning damage, basically the lightning set. But until then, we're rocking a good little maintenance set here. Attack increase by 12% and then break effect by 16%. Our Asta is going to be rocking full blown break effect 16%, basically because she's very good at shredding shields. As soon as she breaks somebody's shield, she does a ridiculous amount of break damage. And I'm talking about like anywhere from 5 to 10K, which is very solid. Uh, so you always want to put this uh, generally on all of your shield shredders. It's a very good build for them. Natasha is going to be rocking a healing set, and she's also rocking this passerby set that's going to recover one skill point at the start of the battle. It pretty much gives you a nice little preemptive boost to uh, how you're going to utilize your skills with your team. It's real, it's real nice to have. Uh, and then, of course, she's rocking this for the 12% HP boost, and then she'll give it to the entire team uh, once she reaches 120 speed, which, by the way, she's at 99. But another good thing about Asta is when you pop her ult, she's going to give the entire team a 37 speed boost, which puts everybody a, a well over the mark required for them to get their, uh, their relic passives. Again, another reason why Asta is freaking cracked. Uh, Serval is just going to be rocking again, uh, pretty much a, whatever the hell I could muster up. I'm still struggling with development on uh, developing a high investment on my relics. So we just threw what we could on her 
And uh, her real job, again, is to shred shields as well and provide a little bit of extra damage and AOE clear. I almost forgot Light Cone um, for Asta is going to be this bad boy right here, which I ended up buying for completely free in the Forgotten Hall. Once you get up enough currency for the Forgotten Hall, you can go in the Forgotten Hall shop and buy whatever one of four stars you want to buy. I ended up buying this one because I need it for her and Tinyun. It's a very good one to get 16% increased damage to the next person that's in line after she uses her skill. Uh, Natasha is rocking this, another free to play um, light cone you get through story progression eventually. And then Servo's rocking this free to play, which is her specific one that you get through the web event for completely free. Uh, the only thing you're going to need RNG with, which if you don't have this, it's cool, but I got lucky and got his set through doing free to play pulls. If you don't have this, then you can just rock one of these free to play pieces that you also get eventually just by doing story progression. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I ain't gonna lie to you though. This is, this is such a damn good light cone for Asta, man. Obviously it's his literal, a light cone specified for him. Now let's go ahead and go over to the simulated universe. First thing you absolutely want to have, like an absolutely must have, uh, all blessings of trailblades effects are enhanced. This is huge. Um, and when selecting a blessing in the simulated universe, after defeating enemies, you can consume cosmic fragments to reset the blessing for one time only. Essentially what this does is if you don't get the buffs you want, you can reroll. And that's massive, especially because you're trying to go down a specific path. So you 100% want to have reset blessings and blessings of the trailblaze. If you have these two, you should be good to go, man, definitely. Now, here's the important part. What blessings do we need to go for? Well, we have 10 destructive path blessings that you ideally want to aim for. And obviously a number of them come from the three star, but there's some very important one star ones as well. In fact, this is one of the most important ones you want to try and snag early if you can, is uh, essentially going to allow your Asta to revive himself or anybody else to revive themselves should they die and you get yourself in a bind. It's a very important one and it's only level one. Uh, the other level one you want to have is this bad boy right here. When characters are hit or consume their own HP, regenerate four energy. It's just a good way to uh, keep your energy recharge regeneration going up so that you're uh, uh, proccing ults more often. So that would be two buffs so far. We got eight more buffs to choose from. Now, these two are going to soak up two more spots. This is literally your ult when you go to the destruction path and get six destructive stacked buffs. When you get six destructive stacked buffs, you're going to unlock the ultimate at the, three, at the third stack. And at the sixth stack, you're going to enhance the ultimate ultimate for completely free so that's four buffs that i think you need to have already off rip and the most beautiful thing about this buff right here is that it literally is going to immediately activate our all, all of arlon's uh buffs that he gets when he drops below 50 percent from his build that he has on from his light cone to his relics to his passives and then from the uh, destruction path perks that you get from this which we're going to go over here in a bit but this is literally just the, the buff that you use to park your ult now this is one of the most important ones to grab the fighting spirit and you want to try and grab everything fighting spirit that you can if a character's current hp is below 50 percent they're considered to have 16 extra stacks of fighting spirit fighting spirit increases your attack by three percent and your defense by three percent it stacks up to 35 times so you want to grab this one and you want to enhance it if you can if possible uh, and then you want to grab the the tier two one, which is right here. If a character attacks while under fighting spirit consumes HP equal to 10 percent of current HP and deals additional damage equal to 60 percent of HP loss. So essentially just try to grab the fighting spirits because Arlon is always going to be losing health. That's just the way his uh, build is, is designed. Now, finally, this is one of the most important survival buffs you want to pick up. Uh, receive 15 percent less damage when you enhance it. But the most crucial thing about it is it basically distributes the damage that a character takes and spreads it across your entire party. Now this may sound bad at first, but it's actually incredibly valuable because you never have to worry about one person taking all the damage. It's always gonna get spread out across your party and with somebody like Natasha or another healer in the game, everybody's health is spread out evenly. So when you heal, everybody heals evenly. It's it's really valuable, man. Do not sleep on this bad boy right here. It's, I thought it was trash at first and then I was like, damn, this shit is actually banger. <laughs> Now, uh, going down here, um, here we go. After a character uses their ultimate, they gain a shield that can absorb damage equal to 25% of their HP. Another good survivability perk you want to pick up. Basically, every time Arlon ults, he gets a shield. And that's that's huge because it increases your survivability with him. So you want to have more survivability. Don't just go straight head, uh, meathead chronicles and only go for all damage. Survivability is also important, especially in a, a health draining build such as this. And finally, another level one you want to scoop up is this bad boy right here 
your primordial black hole you basically just get free attack every time you get more destruction blessings which again you're getting up to like 10 destruction blessings so you 100 percent want to go for this it's a free uh up to 45 percent attack boost permanently if you if you enhance it and uh there's a curio that allows you to get a bunch of cosmic fragments throughout the hunt you can re-roll possibly for it but it'll help you get your cosmic fragments to a point where you can literally enhance like like seven different uh destruction path buffs now the next important buff you want to grab uh you can see it over here i don't have to move my camera i guess but it's uh, it's called destructive flare again arlon when a character's hp is lower than 50 percent deals 40 percent increased damage and then when you upgrade it it gives you another 20 percent plus 10 percent when he drops below 35 it's like bro this, this is insane this is when arlon's damage just starts uh getting ridiculous man and then i, I don't even think we've reached 10 buffs yet but after that you can kind of just throw on whatever you want to throw on this is a good one obviously but those are the like must-have buffs honestly now for the hunt path there's some very important ones you want to have in here uh, this is a really good one if you can land it and you're gonna need a little bit of RNG luck, uh, luck with the hunt path uh, You want to try and land this one if you can uh, But this one here is a banger after a character defeats an enemy their action is advanced forward by a hundred percent Basically, they get to attack immediately again and then they gain four stacks of critical boost Which increases your crit rate and your crit damage and stacks up to eight times and We're talking about a six percent to twelve percent crit rate to crit damage ratio per stack bro which is insane so this one you absolutely do not pass this up grab it if you can is an absolute banger bro and enhance it if you can but uh basically arlon can kill like the uh, the ads that spawn during the boss fight or throughout you know the the majority of the world for a hunt he can kill the ads which will give him his turn back and he'll basically be able to cycle his skill into his ult like repetitively which is absolutely amazing now something you want to pair with this boom the level two hunt right here this you only need four of these bad boys this one right here and this one right here are actually they're, they're bangers because this one when you defeat an enemy which also is the same exact uh precondition as this one when you defeat an enemy it regenerates your energy so you pretty much get a guaranteed ult every time you kill an enemy which you can then use to spam on top of the boss again you're going to see me do this in the showcase but this is a absolute banger combo right here from the hunt tree so i i strongly recommend these two right here now we got two more buffs to choose from the hunt if we can i mean you could choose more but i'm just showing you exactly what i ended up get, going for on my showcase this is another good one that ensures that you're acting uh and using more turns every six turns conducted by all allies the current character's action is advanced forward so with a little bit of rng luck you can hopefully land on arlon but if you don't any character going twice is always a very good thing just for building skill points for doing i don't know buffs for doing heals it's a very good perk to have and it's something i would uh, strongly recommend but uh this is definitely going to be the final buff i would add in and the reason being is because when you attack consecutively you get a free 40 percent uh attack boost for two that can stack up to two times which is insane but consecutively counts when you use your skill into your burst so if i skill and then pop burst that counts as consecutively and i immediately get this buff for free not to mention again when you defeat enemies you're always going again so that's why this buff is very valuable this one plus this one or i'm sorry this one plus oh yeah so this one plus this one and this one absolute three bangers right there and for the fourth buff honestly you can choose whatever the hell you want to choose i personally like this one obviously if you can get lucky you really want to go for this one with a 50 damage increase i don't think i ended up getting that in the showcase but that's definitely the path build boys 10 destructions and uh four uh hunters path bonuses which are very valuable for a hyper carry build for somebody such as arlon now what do you want to try to roll for for the curios again we're still unlocking things we're still learning the game and progressing i'm not going to sit here and act like i have it all figured out i'm just really sharing a build that ended up working extremely well for me but what i try to go for is this right here destructible objects will appear more frequently and rewards are obtained from them are doubled if you destroy destructive objects inside of this world uh simulated world program they got going on they give cosmic fragments that's literally the currency you use to not only revive down characters re-roll your blessings in case you got a crap roll but it's also the currency you use to enhance blessings as well so 
just literally picking this up allows you to have so many more cosmic fragments when it's all said and done and it's time for you to enhance before you go into that final boss fight so this is a high recommendation this is a high recommendation because it increases the chances of you seeing destructive buffs more often and then the final one i want to give you is uh this one right here these two are a very strong pair because they pretty much allow you to enhance your blessings that you already have more like you can enhance so much more if you can literally pair this with this absolute banger fam i'm telling you right now bro you're gonna have a lot of cosmic fragments and you're gonna be able to enhance like eight different freaking blessings before you go into the final boss fight which is massive so yeah that's what i have to say about the build boys i hope you guys enjoy the showcase again it's raw and unfiltered i was having a good time but the damage caught me completely off guard so i was like damn this is awesome bro uh but yeah y'all enjoy uh we got more content to come for you soon we're gonna be doing world five and we're gonna be doing that with dan hang and making a build specifically tailored around him one thing about these worlds uh, is you want to build based off of the characters and the elements that they're weak to. So for an example, World 5, you see you have wind, 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 physical, 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 physical. Wind and physical build is what I'm going to go for. So you want to keep that in mind when you're doing these worlds, boys. But yeah, y'all enjoy it. I'll catch y'all on the flip side, all right? I'm out. I guess let's take a quick look at all the buffs we have. We got Path of Resonance, 10 buffs in total. Boom. These are the two big dick ones. Once you get six Path of Destruction yes sir i want to be able to look at this because i feel in my soul i know in my soul boys that we are going to we're going to we're going to beat his ass this time we got the most arlon ass <laughs> build this is the build for arlon bro this is for all, all the arlon mains this is for all the arlon shit talkers we about to pop off with my boy we ain't fell in twice we don't fail twice. We don't do that around here. We don't do that around here. Gotta hit her with Asta, or hit him with Asta so we can get the five stacks. Oh, we only got two stacks. I forgot, it's just him by himself. Everybody takes that damage. Get everybody your stacks up. And I'm glad we got Serval, because Serval about to be applying this, uh, this, this shock to everybody. Go right here. I want to kill them little, yeah, I'm kill them little peasants. Them little peasants out the way, bro. Ain't had them in the way. Get them out the way. Yep. Now I'm coming for you. Now I'm coming for you. Uh. Thirteen thousand. Yeah. Arlon! Chill! You gotta chill, bro! You gotta chill! You gotta chill, Arlon! Yo, oh, this nigga gotta chill! Oh my god! This nigga gotta chill! Oh my god! He not playing! He ain't letting nobody else go! <laughs> My boy is mad. He died from a dot. Uh uh, come here. Come here. Arlon, he's scooping in for that. He's scooping in for that. Ooh. Ooh. Bang bang, bro. We we running through these motherfuckers, bro. Don't give a fuck about your damage boost, and everybody shares the damage. That is so beautiful. He, uh, but right, I kept going because I kept killing people, and every time you kill people, it advances him forward. One of my buffs does that. I don't remember which one. Okay, uh, my skill points are low, and I actually need them. So we're just gonna do an auto. Blast. I forgot about her, man. Uh-oh. Mama, there goes that man. Hold up, we gonna kill him just to get our immediate energy regeneration? <laughs> Is shit crazy? Pain! <laughs> now we get to ult. <laughs> Is shit crazy, right? These niggas don't stand a chance, bro. Arlon is powerful, bro. 
Oh my god, bro. What is this damage? Look, he going again. Ult up. Bang. Ult up again. Holy shit. I did not know this was this strong, bro. I had no clue. Bang. Bang. Oh my god. It hurts to watch him go to that. Let's give them all full health real quick, man. Not full health, but let's heal them. Let's heal them up. There we go. Arlon can get back down. I know he can. Oh, wait. We only got one point. Never mind. We're going to chill. We're going to chill. Honestly, I think electricity. Uh, okay, never mind. I thought I was about to say electricity probably going to kill, buddy. I'm not playing with them hands. Yeah, he's dead. I'm not playing with them hands, bro. Arlon about to pop off. Unless Arlon can kill the hand to get a stack. Then I will consider it. He took my art line. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. I'm glad I got servo on the team, bro. I'm so glad I got. Oh no, 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 Oh, thank the... Oh, thank God, bro. <laughs> okay, I gotta heal. Arlon's weak over there. I'm glad I see... Make putting Servo on the squad was a very good idea. Oh my God, look at that shield break! Did you see that shield damage? Bro, bro, are you kidding me, man? Are you f kidding me? Yes, she stunned him. She stunned him. Bro, you absolutely need servo for this, bro. Uh, we back at it. We back at it. Oh my god, he is trying everything in his power to only attack Arlo. He will not let my Arlo do anything, bro. It's hilarious. He knows. He knows that brother is strong. But look, I'm about to stun him. I'm about to stun him. Sit him down. Mm -hmm. Look who came back. You thought. Mm -hmm. Bang. Mm -hmm. Come here. Okay. How much health does the hand have? I honestly don't know. But you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care, bro. We gotta do everything we can. Don't attack Arlon, bro. He's... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, hit the speed, hit the speed, speed buff, speed buff. Yes! That's left, yes! Servo goes. Oh! Okay, who's he gonna hit next, bro? He can please don't hit Arlon. Please don't hit Arlon. Oh my god, bro. I need Arlon to just I just need Arlon to go one more time. If he grabs my Arlon with his fing hand, I might lose my shit. Uh uh. Please kill the hand. Please kill the hand. Yes! Yes! He's done! He's done! He has to be! Oh that was huge! What do I restore? Yeah, let's do this. Bro, I'm so tired of seeing this hand, bro. I'm so over it, bro. Dead ass. He's gonna grab my line, watch. Oh, overlord. Okay, yeah. This this should be this should be GG's. He killed. Oh, and I could have healed. 
Oh, wow, that's unfortunate. I could have healed. I chose not to. That's okay. It's, it's okay because Arlon gets to go. Bro, this was such a tough fight, man. Oh my god, it had me stressed out. It had me so stressed out. Okay, uh, we're, just, we're gonna ult Arlon and his GGs. That's it. We're ult Arlon GGs. Oh my god, bro. I wish you survived just so I can ult your mother ass, bro. Oh my god. We made it, boys. I feel like I gotta buy one of these just 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 to celebrate, bro. We ain't got enough though. Oh my goodness, man. That was one hell of a fight, dog. Arlon MVP, baby. Destruction path build. GG's. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Ah, uh, that was cool. I'm not gonna lie. That was really cool, man. There's a lot of things to learn too. Like that that shit at the end that says, uh, do you want to throw away a curio to gain 200 fragments? That ended up being one of the best decisions I made because I threw away one that I wasn't even going to use anymore. It became obsolete and got 200 free cosmics to upgrade two freaking uh, in-game perks at the end there. So that was massive, man.